Good morning. Thank you for sticking with me and deciding not to turn away. Really appreciate it. Before we actually get the day started, I got to go to the post office and drop off some of these nice, check this out right here. At the end of my videos, that is what I'm advertising. Um, I have purchased that machine right there is a heat pressed, like one of the finest that money can buy. I plan on being around for a long time, so that's why I buy the stuff that is gonna last forever. I also wanna let y'all have a quick peek. Check this out. <clears throat> Let's see. This right here is a project that I am currently working on. Uh, I'm gonna call it the Fish Barracks. If there are other fishing YouTubers out of the area, some of them are really close friends of mine, and uh, I know that money is very tight. So whenever you're flying or driving from place to place, lodging is one of the big things that prevents us from being able to collaborate. So I've got a nice fish barracks set up for those guys whenever they want to come to the Texas coast and get on some donkeys. So uh, check this out. If those of you guys, you know who you are, that I have invited over to come fishing with me, that fish barracks should be completed in roughly a month or so. Uh, it's completely sleepable right now, but in about a month, that's whenever it's gonna be completely finished and ready to go. Hopefully there'll be some future collaborations for y'all to see in the future. Okay, so let's get to the post office and then we're gonna hit the water. We are slowly but surely losing our access points to public waters. And I have a strong suspicion that it's because we don't wanna take care of the spots that we have. Uh, what I mean by that is a lot of people just leave their trash and junk. You know who you are if you're watching my video. Uh, this is near and dear to my heart too because whenever I go out to all these public launch spots, all you can see is litter, litter, litter all over the place. People like to come out here, drink beer, have a great time, which is perfectly fine. I don't have anything against that, but when you leave your trash, like if your mama's gonna come and clean it up, that is just completely wrong. We gotta take care of what we have, take care of our resource, protect it. It's like we make it easy for development companies to come in and purchase up something that looks completely trashed. It makes the decision for the city or whatever, the community, to allow them to start building in all these places because they know it's gonna stay clean instead of all that litter there. That's all I'm trying to say. That's the reef right there that I wanna go to. Been, I fished it before, uh, didn't have much luck, but I really didn't try and concentrate. I can see it right off in the distance, so that's kind of good. We can park the kayak on it if we want to. Am I feeling so blue? Ooh. Don't worry, I'm not gonna quit my day job. I know I can't sing. There we go, clipping that off for its like crazy to see how quick we abandoned the plan you gotta fish a bit more like technical i i haven't used this one right here i don't think i want to use that he looks all just ghetto so we'll put him back and we're going to use what we've caught fish off of in the past and that's this guy Right there, got a slight bend to the tail. Learn that from you guys. You don't need no, like, real expensive kayak to access from the bank out here to some of these reefs. Just get you anything that you feel comfortable and stable in. Doesn't have to be expensive. And then you're able to get out here and just start wrecking these fish. This is just not working. Let's do this. Let's get out of the inside of the reef and we'll push down a little bit more and uh, try to find some better water to fish. All right, people, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> My goodness. Trying to get a bite. 
I wish you could pay fish to get a bite. Oh my gosh, look at that. The fluke done went and got himself turned turned into a vegan, converted. Why? Don't do that, buddy. Please don't. Don't turn to a vegan on me. It's nasty to eat vegetables. Kids, don't listen to me. Earmuffs. Come on. It's nasty for flukes to turn into vegans. Eating vegetables is bad. There we go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Show me some bait. Something. Is it? No, that's oyster. Man, I didn't think this guy was gonna snag oyster at all. Oh wait, that's a fish! Oh my gosh! Holy moly, that's power pole down. Oh, that's a flounder! Yes, baby! Get over here! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Holy moly, man! Mr. Flatty, thank you so much, bro! He is a keeper. Look at that. Four, hey, stop tensing up. 14 and a quarter. Um, that's probably going to be the only one we're going to catch today. But look at what we got him on. The Zoom Fluke, man. This dude has been crushing it. There's a reason why I love using it for both salt and fresh water. And uh, today is the perfect example. Man, okay. So there we go. Get it out. But man, oh man, beautiful flat fish. Look how clear that water is. There you go, buddy. I thought I had oyster. I thought wrong. All righty. Man, can we run that back up, please? Forgetting to hit the record button is a YouTuber, a fishing YouTuber's worst nightmare because it's like you're talking and you're reeling, you're fighting this fish and you think that you're recording and just showing your audience that you know how to catch fish and like, hey, this is why I love you guys because y'all stick around because I know how to catch fish and then next thing you know, you hit that record button to capture that footage and you're like, oh my God, you gotta be kidding me. I was not recording. You beg and plead for the fish to, oh, that was, that was a, a big old splash. You beg and plead with the fish like, hey bro, if I let you go, will you please bite again? There we go. Oh, that's a little beady red fish. Get over here, you chicken. We're gonna power pole down real fast. So like right now, I'm gonna say, please let me be recording because look at this little mud chicken right there. So pretty. Oh my gosh, I love catching you guys. I don't care how big you are. All right. There we go. Let's, uh, let's get these forceps, get you off, and then we're going to send you on your way, little guy. There we go. Look at that. Thank you so much for biting. You are the king of the bay. I don't care what anybody says. You own this, okay? Go back over there to that reef and just continue wrecking it. You got to love fishing. Keep that lure in the water. It's a game of numbers. If you don't have your lure in the water, well, then you ain't going to catch fish. There we go. I'm going to get out and kind of wade for a little bit. Let's beach our girl. There you go, sweetheart. And just as a precautionary measure, throw that power pole down so that she doesn't go take off on us all right let's see what we can do right here okay so I'm looking at the smoke cloud that I produced and it's not going anywhere so we have zero movement on the water there is no running water right now no current or anything like that this spot is not going to produce for me so I'm going to get back inside the boat and just continue drifting with the wind I am a frozen popsicle people it is a reason. Thank goodness I made it back when I did because the sun is showing no signs of coming right back out. And, uh, well, I am starving and I got to pee. 
And I am just ready to get off the water. Not bad for my first trip, like solo trying to go out there and attack them reefs out in open water. Uh, I do think there's a lot for me still to learn. Uh, first thing that I gotta do is figure out how to get an app. Uh, I noticed that there was really no moving water. Uh, when I was walking, wading inside that mud, the smoke clouds that my feet were producing, uh, they were not moving anywhere. So that just tells me that there is no running water. No running water equates to no fish out there. So if y'all know of a Tide app that I could possibly download, uh, something along the lines of it's going to give me real-time data from a buoy that is closest to me based off of my location and it's gonna calculate what the water is doing based off of my location. I know that's a lot to ask for, but I'm lazy and uh, I just like to know what's going on right then and there. All right, so that's gonna do it. I hope you all enjoyed it. And uh, until next time, tight lines, everyone.